Hi, how's it going? Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Thin Transparency shader model that is coming to Unreal in 4.25. Now, I'm just going to set up the basic material uh, and get it working. So first thing we need to do is right click and make a new material. And then from here, we are going to come over here to the left side and we are going to go to shading model and we're going to change that to thin translucent and that's going to bring up these warnings and that's going to actually help us. So now we are going to read that first warning that is about blending. We're going to change that blending mode to from opaque to translucent. Okay, now we can scroll down to translucency and we are going to change lighting mode to be surface forward shading. Now I want you to right click in here and we're going to search for thin and we're gonna click the thin translucency right here. And now we're just gonna grab a three vector to be able to set color later and then another constant to set the opacity. And then here the thin transparency can actually use either a scalar or it can use a three vector as well it can accept color uh for now i'm just gonna set this color here for the base color okay now you can pause here if you want uh the editor crashed so i lost some footage uh but i did want to point out that the cost of this thin material is pretty expensive it has a base cost of 777 uh instructions Okay, uh, so that's kind of all I wanted to do, is just show you those first couple steps. The rest is kind of up to you and your material. The last little bit is going to be just me changing that uh, thin transparency to a color uh, to get a nicer look out of it. Now, I just want to take the time to say if you want more Unreal content, to just uh, hit that subscribe button below. And you can also find me on social media as Twitch and Twitter and all that, and that will be linked in the description below. If you want to, you can join our Discord. Myself and others answer uh, any game dev questions or Unreal questions uh, you might have. That's it. We have unraveled a little bit more Unreal today, and hope you guys learned something, and can't wait to see what you guys make with this new material.